So it looks like it's happening. Every Arsenal fan that uh, I've spoken to, every Arsenal fan that was at the game last night said if we'd have had a clinical striker, we'd have probably won the game. The um, people who don't didn't watch the whole game don't realise how much we dominated the ball. And that's without some of our best players. Now, <clears throat> Jesus and Nketiah are not the answer. They're not. And quite frankly, I'd be quite happy to see the back of Zinchenko, but that's another story. Um, they're talking, apparently, Gorkarez has agreed personal terms. I'm not sure about that one, but this is a report from Spain, but they've met and they are saying 68 million euros or pounds. I think that might be pounds. His release was his 80. So I did say it would be around mid 60s, didn't I? So I, th I think that's what he go. I think that's what he'll go for. I don't think there'll be any add-ons. If there's add-ons, it'd be less than sixty-eight. It'd be sixty, and you get eight in add-ons. Um, Victor Gorkares, he will be next in the door at Arsenal. Put your money on it. Then. I think Arsenal need to look at maybe a Fabio Ruiz. 21 million, come on. PSG don't want him. I just think he's an excellent, excellent squad player. Um, I do. I just think Arsenal are building a squad now. The squad that they've had the last couple of seasons, they're getting rid of. They're keeping the best players and, they, and they're replacing all the sort of Enketias, the Smith Rose, the Reese Nelsons, even. Reese Nelson looks pretty good, but if Reese Nelson's going, that means another winger is incoming. So it's either going to be Williams, Nico Williams, or it's going to be Leroy Sane. It's going to be one or the other. Um, I hope it's Nico Williams, because he's young, he's exciting. And Sane, as good as he is, I just... I. I I don't know, there's just something about Williams I love. His, his youth, his, he's fearless, you know what I mean? And I don't think you see the Premier League as much of a problem. I really don't. I think players would be absolutely... They'd be trebling up on him, which will leave Saka um, uh, pretty free to roam around, will it? An older guard and uh, Moreno, and, and God knows who else. Gorkarez, maybe, Havertz. You know, th this is what you do when you bring in a, a world-class winger. Yes, Martinelli, Trossard, oh, Trossard ain't got to worry. If we were to bring in a winger like that, the only player I would worry for would be Gabriel Martinelli. But if he's going to get no game time, he gets loaned out um, to a big team, maybe in Italy, maybe in Spain, maybe in Germany. Um, you know, go and show us what you can do. Go and score 20 goals in the league and 10 in cups. Go and score, go and score 25, 30 goals. As good as Gabriel Martinelli is, I just think he 
you just lacks that killer edge in front of goal sometimes. And I think, I, I do believe, um, Mikel Arteta, mate, he is one ruthless motherfucker. And it will come down to it. I think he will be replaced. I think be, he will be replaced. I think Trossard's happy being back up. And Trossard can play false nine as well, so. Yeah. Watch this space. I think big, big things are going to be happening in the next couple of weeks, especially at Arsenal.